Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and I've come out on site today with James Gibbons from Site Buddies. He's got an invention here which is called the Clad Man, and it turns that job of putting up sidings or claddings into a one-man job instead of a two-man job, which means that the other guy can be down there on the saw cutting them, and with one man fixing them, one man cutting them, they can run through this job at three times the speed they reckon of uh, normally doing it. So it's a great device. There are a couple of other devices out there on the market which you might have seen for doing this job, but none of them can do both cement, fibre, you know, the sort of uh, hardy backer type things or marley, and also do the timber, feather edge, that kind of thing. So this is more versatile, very accurate. He's going to run us through it, show us how it works, and uh, it's available from James right now. So we've got the, the whole locations there, uh, one to seven. Um, one to five will take uh, board widths from 125 millimeter to 225 millimeter, um, and naught to 40 in thickness. Um, the, the, the two top ones are actually for when you're actually underneath a soffit. Um, so what you would actually do when you get to your last board and the, the soffit's in the way. Okay, so we undo that. Then what we would do, say, whatever your last board is, whether it's six or seven, you just let's say it's six. So we put that in. So we're underneath the soffit, if you can imagine that. Okay, so we're up there, underneath the soffit. We can't get any further, but what we can do, we can put the last board in. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah, so then we take that out and we put a rip in. I've moved that off that one, and now I'm gonna move that onto that one. Oh, okay, got you, right. So that's now, but I, what I'll do, I'll put it across here. Yeah. 500, Steve. For longest points. So that's fixed, so what I can do now is take that off. Okay, work my way along. Uh, two, four, two, oh. Yeah. He likes inches. Hello, chap. Okay, so I can slide that through. Put that into position. While I'm here, I thought, no, let's have a look around the rest of the building, because it's quite interesting. It's an oak barn that they're building here. And even if you're not building an oak barn, if you want to build something, this is going to be a garage, not a barn, a little office space. But even if you're not doing that, you may be interested in some of the basic components of the building, because if you're building an extension or you're doing a loft conversion, some of the things you'll see here are gonna be exactly the same. So I'll just have a quick whiz round and give you a guided tour if you like. So first thing we've got here is a bit of stud walling that goes along, and that's got insulation. In the case here, this ecotherm, most of it that's been laid in what we call PUR board. That forms the insulation inside the building. Nice little oak window here. All bespoke joinery made to measure oak window. This is buildings being done by Coomber and Son. They've got a nice joinery shop and they've built this in the joinery shop. Double glaze is going to look great. Bit of stud walling and we call these noggins or we call them dwangs, depending on which part of the country you're in. And you can tell by the height of that threshold there that there's going to be some insulation in this floor. And what I would imagine is that they're going to put that insulation that is sitting over there. Cut that in to the floor, finish it off possibly with a bit of timber over the top. This area here is all trimmed out ready for the staircase to go in, but at the moment we just got a ladder. So what we've got here is a nice room over the top, a nice loft conversion if you like. A trust roof, this is not made on site, this is arrives already made in, from a factory you just lift the sections on with a crane or however you want to do it, manhandle them up there. And um, so it's all prefabricated, basically the whole thing comes down. Everywhere you look, you've got the insulation 
on the outside of that insulation, they've left the 25 millimeter gap. That allows the roofing membrane to hang slightly down so that it's not tight on the battens. And that way, any water that is caught, the droplets that come through the building are going to end up trickling their way down the outside. But actually, if you look at it, they've got two levels of insulation in there. They've got more insulation than the building regulations would require. Uh, so it's almost full depth, so it's pretty good that. That's gonna, with those two bits in there and an air gap, this is gonna be one warm building. So there's the roof window, all framed out, ready to go. I'm gonna put on a nice couple of windows in the end here. Somebody's been cutting all this insulation up with a handsaw. Not a very nice job. The dust is horrible and that stuff makes you cough. So hopefully they had a good, good dust mask on. So here we are, we've got plywood floor all over. They might even be putting something classy on top of that, who knows. So that's just a quick spin round so you can have a look, see what we're doing or what they're doing in this building. And I hope you found that useful. Come back to see us soon. Got loads more going on on Skill Builder. These guys have stopped. Give us your comments. We want to hear from you. So if you haven't subscribed, be a subscriber.